Hello everyone, welcome to exam B. We are discussing previous year's memory based paper for DPR RBA grade B exam. The questions which have been asked previously in these papers, you know that your paper, your exam has three papers. Paper 1 which is objective type, questions of economics will be asked to our exam 100 marks. Paper 2 and paper 3 is descriptive, paper 3 is English as it is in the RBA grade B general side. And paper 2 is descriptive type on economics. Here you have to write the answers on a piece of paper. Questions will be displayed on the computer screen but you will have to write and this is 100 marks, this is 100 marks, total 300 marks. The paper 1 is on 6th of the March. So right now your focus is on the objective exam and then 31st March you have this descriptive exam. Interesting thing is the marking pattern here. Please understand this very very well because ultimately it helps in getting the scores. The negative marking is very very different here and the number of questions are like 60 to 64 questions asked in paper 1 which is of 100 marks. Questions are in 3 part. Microeconomics, there will be questions of 1 mark, 2 mark and 3 marks. Macroeconomics, focus mainly on the Indian economy but Macro also consists of understanding what is happening at the global level. There also you will find questions of 1 mark, 2 mark, 3 mark. Then there are questions on econometrics and statistics. Many a times a student of economics lack preparation on this. While this is very very scoring because it is more like mathematics. Here you will have also 4 marker question. You will have numericals to solve. I am coming to that. But before this, understand this negative marking, very strange for 1 mark, 3 mark, this is 33% negative marking. For 2 and 4 mark, surprisingly, it is 50% negative marking. So you have to be very, very cautious. I always talk about option elimination method. In most of the other exam, we find 25% negative marking. But here, when there is 50% negative marking in 2 mark question and 4 mark question, you have to be very, very careful that not to do guessing work. 50% of the chances you may lose the mark. Only at exam B, we are doing this course for RBI DEPR preparation. And all our content is prepared with the help of economists and experts who have cleared the exam. Every week, we are doing three classes of economics and one class for English descriptive paper with the help of our faculty who is PhD in Agriculture Economics, Masters in Economics from Delhi School of Economics, preparing the questions, taking the classes, Dr. Sharma, PhD from IIT Kanpur in English language for your English descriptive and Arnima ma'am. We are also checking the descriptive answers you are submitting because here in DEPR, your final selection depends a lot on what you are writing. So if you see the pattern of the questions, Microeconomics, about 33% of the weight is macro, including growth, development, and question related to Indian economy, about 33%, and then rest one third is about econometrics and statistics. In these, the topics are theory of consumer demand, theory of production, theory of value, theory of distributions, welfare economics, industrial economics. In macro, concept of national income, calculation of GBA. Public economics, inflation, money, how these are related, balance of payment, economies are becoming more and more connected, development economics, international economics, public finance, and recent development in all these. I will come to what questions can be asked here. Econometrics and statistics, theory of probability, statistical inferences, t-test, z-test, f-test, application of these tests, chi-square will also be there and others. Time series analysis, index number, sampling, types of sampling, hypothesis testing, correlation regressions, questions on these will be asked. Now coming to the type of questions. It is a numerical heavy exam. Just reading, understanding theory will not do because in doing the numerical your concepts are also checked. You shall expect numerical question from all three parts. Micro, macro and econometrics. All three part conceptual questions, various economic models and theories. We have to know that and no general current affairs. So please understand this well because there will be questions related to general awareness. But general current affairs means questions from the different awards, sports, event, 
related to economic current affairs that will be important like economic survey very very important any announcement major announcement made by the government like union budget the concept major numbers atmanirbhar package any tax related discussions going on now the discussions on retrospective taxing lic ipo is in news recapitalization of the bank creation of arcs and bad bank such general awareness related to economics is important even in writing your descriptive answers rbi announcement related to monetary policy discussions by imf world bank on the global growth these are the memory based past year questions paper 1 on macroeconomic there was questions on icc and angel curve for inferior goods theory based question and numericals on cost calculating minimum of the average variable cost monopoly questions equilibrium calculations three mark question calculating the equilibrium calculating elasticity and a numerical on learners index perfect competition equilibrium condition conceptual questions on average cost average variable cost marginal cost the diagram if you understand the diagram you can solve the numerical so both are related diagram ultimately explains the theory duopoly questions cot not model consumer surplus question three mark calculating this comparative advantage this numerical on related to international trade so you have to understand law of absolute advantage law of comparative advantage and when you understand this by example you can solve these questions economic profit substitution and income effect under hicks and sluxy in macroeconomics the second part at what rate india should grow to achieve 5 trillion target by 24 25 so these are the kind of question you can expect related to questions these were asked last time hingis model match the following matching the theory with the author like neo classical associated with sarjan so various economist and various theories you have to match that what bank should keep in mind while investing so diversification the rule of investment is don't put all the eggs in one basket i am a projected growth rate in april 19 what growth rate economic survey then related to fiscal deficit mentioned in the economic survey gst council constituted under section 279 insolvency resolution claims of 1918 19 from economic survey demographic dividend data related questions from economic survey see lot of questions coming from economic survey and economic survey presents you very very good picture of the indian economy lot of data and also qualitative quantitative analysis sector exempted from gst like electricity health education coming from economic survey also on microeconomics continued bank mergers this was very much in discussion last time and nowadays privatization of the bank is also coming in discussion privatization of banks recapitalization of the bank and privatization of the public sector enterprises disinvestment so you have to take clue from that see previous year paper does not mean the same questions will be repeated again but this gives you idea what kind of questions can be asked there was a numerical on kinsian model ads concept two sector three sector or four sector these were the kind of option there was a numerical on keynesian foreign multiplier numerical on golden rule saving rate solo model it was a three marks question hope you remember in three marks and one mark question it was a 33% negative marking there were two numericals on ni accounting national income accounting and conceptual question on levis model there was a numerical on islm curve solve r and y one numerical on government expenditure multiplier under skm similarly matching the following they said there are two tables micro like cauchy rand time series and on econometrics and statistics matrix methods for regression coefficient calculation t value f value four marks each because these questions may take time also and deeper understanding of solving calculation on r square using x and y data points data points are definitely given in the exam calculation of r from the regression questions two variable case basic concept of assumption of clrm effect on heteroscedicity 
and auto correlation i think you must have studied this in economics in your statistics course you have to go further into the concept calculation of t value conceptual question from multicollinearity heteroscedasticity auto correlation time series calculating the lagged values index number less period index relationship between r square and correlation coefficient and this econometrics and statistics is about one third of the exam if you are not good at this please please learn otherwise you won't be able to crack therefore practice numerical on micro macro and econometrics standard model of oligopoly all market reform its cost and revenue curves equilibrium price and quantity in different market structure practice numericals on these on game theory calculation of the nash equilibrium and calculate the simple one because you know in the exam you are not going to do the long calculation which take hours they are testing your concepts elasticities equilibrium price and quantity in different market structures as we discussed oligopoly monopoly in macro islm model mandel fleming model please do that calculations also balance sheet of both central bank and commercial bank understand this the difference between the balance sheet of rbi and a typical bank rbi balance sheet is very different it is available in the annual report of rbi you can download that money supply understand this taylor rule gini coefficient calculation also you shall know multiplier accelerator balance budget multiplier calculations calculation of the national income gva and heteroscedasticity statistics auto correlation multicollinearity calculate adjusted r square regression coefficient correlation coefficient f ratio t test chi square measures of central tendency and measures of dispersion to study all this at one place this complete online learning course is going to help you with live classes of economics and descriptive english for more information subscribe to the channel comments of exams are made easy by i exam b please subscribe to the channel like and share